Okay, welcome back to my Let's Play of Hacknet on the PC. And, um, I think it's safe to say that, uh, this is not one of my most popular LPs ever, but we're doing this, we're gonna finish it, so let's get to it. Uh, so we've been doing some stuff for CSEC, that's what we've been doing. And, uh, that's what we're gonna be continuing to do. Once I find out the CSEC, it's not, it's not the gauntlet, it's the, it's not the acid, no, it's just CSEC, yeah. Contract listing. Locate or create decryption software. New companies come out with some new file encryption software and is locked up a bunch of previously very open code to use us to us with it. The algorithm doesn't seem as bad as what we faced in the past, but there's no solver out for it yet. This contract will have you solve the problem however you want, but we need a file decrypted. Okay, that sounds interesting. DEC Solutions has recently finished their new DEC encryption suite, basically a file encryption package. We have a file that we want to look at that's been locked by this encryption. I've thrown a copy of it up on our Crossroads server, a non-secured dumping ground for all CSEC users, as encryptsource.dec. .dec is the file extension this new encryption generates, by the way. You might want to take a look at the file itself first. The company's website is pretty barren of anything useful, but if you dig a bit, you might find something to help. Once you're in, try scanning to see if the network goes deeper. Once you have decrypted, upload it to the CSEC drop server. Okay. Sounds good, I guess. So, let's go to the actual file first. I guess we'll copy it, take a look at it. this shit. <sighs> um, I mean, I guess I would say this isn't a popular LP because I'm basically, uh, <laughs> it's basically just me typing. Like, I could just open notepad and play some some techno and that's hacknet fresh out of fucks a screenplay uh okay oh A lot of numbers, all right. Grocery Simulator 2010 full walkthrough. What's up, bros? Today I'm going to be walking you through the newest sensation in the world of grocery based simulation. You're John Citizen. A grocer whose life gets flipped, turned upside down, lol. Now it has to sell all sorts of crazy shit to make some sweet cash. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, the IRC logs. Oh, it's the Pong one. Can you help me install GTA 3? First, shut down all programs you aren't using. Frank has quit IRC. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, let's just copy this to our home. Okay. Okay. 
so now we're gonna pay a visit to the web server. Hopefully we can go deeper than that. Data security solutions protect your company's secrets, secure communications, and exchange sensitive data with confidence with our DEC encryption suite. So why don't we just get a copy of the encryption suite? Using 757 of 761, that's pretty solid. Okay, we found their mainframe. That's good. Well, we got stuff to read. Ah, I made you look. Okay. Oh man, they, they encrypt their own memos with this shit. Annoying. Oh no. Gonna be that same damn walkthrough. Why are they, why is this all over the place? Uh, what are the odds it's a new one? <sighs> okay, read that one. Check out then the uh, this, the mainframe, which I'm sure is going to run a trace on me. Why wouldn't it? They're a security company. Okay, that's a lot of them. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of busy work. There you go. Busy, busy, busy work. That's what hacking is. No trace whatsoever. Okay, no scan. So something we want is here. I'll take it. You never know. Uh, data usually is nothing. Problem with America is stupidity. I'm not saying there should be a capital punishment for stupidity, but why don't we just take the safety labels off of everything and let the problem solve itself? Um, money, actually. 
companies love stupid people. Uh, okay, I read that one. Damn it. I wanted to go back in there, because this could be something different. You never know. No, that was a good one, though. I remember that one. Greetings all. First of all, congratulations on the successful launch of our new encryption suite. It's been a huge success, and I hope he did misspelled success. The CEO misspelled success in a staff memo to every person in the company. That's that's kind of funny. And I hope you're all as excited by the new marketing material as I am. As DEC Solutions becomes a more prominent force in worldwide software development, I feel that we as a company need to step up to the plate and start holding ourselves to a higher standard. To this end, I'm enforcing a few new policies within the company that... I hope you'll all come to love and appreciate as the workflow improvements I think they really are. New policies will come through in a few days when I finalize them. Until then, it's as you were, men. Have a productive day. Oh, this is... I'm in... There's only four people in this company and I'm in the CEO's folder? Okay. Greetings all here are the new policies I promised a few days ago. Read them up well. One, sensitive and misspelled sensitive a sensitive company data source code confidential memos etc should be encrypted at all times and not being worked on what better software there for this than our own you've seen the website and I sure you and I sure you can understand how this will make maybe this is a first draft this will make our business a misspelled business a more secure trusting place I've already started this with my own files some very important ones I've even double encrypted it's like using two condoms even if one breaks them out you're still safe what kind of CEO is this? When encrypting files, you should be fine to go passwordless most of the time, but if you feel something's of critical importance, use your company ID on as a password. For example, my safely encrypted files would use my ID DLITRU. Tro. Builds of the encryption suite are to be kept offline at all times. In this age of digital security, you can't be too careful. Okay. Got it. Thanks for showing me earlier. I've sent a copy off to some of the others to see if they can get anything useful out of it. Thanks for great work. David, I've been looking through the code that we got back from the contractors for the encryption. And well, it's breakable. Really breakable. Like, dangerously so. I wrote a program to do that, do it so I could show you, and I've sent it over. You'll probably want to delete that and this memo once you've seen what it can do. To run it, just hit it up in a command line like I showed you like this. Decipher file name here. If you want to use a password too, add that after the file name. Decipher file name password. You know, I might just show you in person. Okay. That's not in. Like, if I just run it, that's not gonna do anything. No, I need, I need something more. Let's check out these other ones. <sighs> okay. like that's just another encrypted file but encryption base too that could be useful I don't suppose I can look at that there's a carry guy oh thank you stupid dumb person okay Cipher personal notes. And there it's running. File requires a password. Yeah, boy. I would do it. Double encrypted. Uh, okay. Do it again. Luckily, there's no trace running. This would have taken a lot longer. I'm 
let us have a look. I'm concerned Kathy here might have a thing for me. I don't blame her. I've also seen my chiseled face on occasion. It is stunning. I should install more mirrors. It's of the utmost importance to stay professional about this. I'm making a note here now that says, in the, in the event that she attacks me in a fit of sexual envy, it's been documented that I'm the innocent party. Yeah, this guy's like if Patrick Bateman became the CEO. Uh, okay, so now let's check out. Like, there's no point to this. It's just me wanting to read all this stuff. Decipher, lawsuit response, D, the, uh, Wish I had a faster computer, but don't we all? Okay. Decipher, lawsuit response, layer two. Mr. Leotru, regarding your recent letter, I've, dis I've discussed the matter with our legal team. They have assured me that your double bagging, that is your application of two condoms instead of the recommended one, recommended one, represents such a significant departure from our recommended usage instructions that you have no legal grounds for class action, regardless of your incredibly high rate of breakages. We recommend that you follow the recommended procedure in the future. Best wishes to you and your 12 children. <laughs> ah, it all comes together then. Fascinating. Well, I should probably remove any of these uh, layer two ones. We don't want any. Uh... Oh, okay, I already did that. Um, decipher, decipher.dc. Oh, that was just the encrypted form of it. Okay. Well, that's useless to us because we already, we had to have it to... Yeah. Okay. Uh, decipher memo. I'm pretty sure I already read that. But why not read everything? We got all the time in the world. Okay, that's weird. Like, why make it take so long? Sure thing. Do you really need to add CEO to the end of everything you sent me still? Got it. Thanks for showing me earlier. I've sent a copy off to something. Okay. Decipher all these things. Damn it. Running low on graph paper, company shirts, coffee, coffee mugs. Mirrors, why is David ordering so many? That's a good question. Um, I 
Isn't that what I kind of just read? Alright. Sure. Hey, Kathy, I've decided that installing a few mirrors would boost personal morale. Can you arrange to have another, say, six fitted around the place? I think it'll really liven up the place. Thanks. Damn it, Dave. It's a goddamn freak. Uh, decipher important memo. This is Kathy, I guess. That's cool. The only four comp people that work for this company. Hey, Kathy, can you do another coffee run today? I'll be back in the office at 3. Thanks. Remember your encryption. Okay. Alright, I think we're done here. All them logs. to the drop server. Upload encrypt source let's see us. Oh, I have to, yes. Yes, of course. I can type Big old file. Thank you. Alright, and go here and reply and done. Yes. Yes! Good. Alrighty then. Why can I never find it? It's just CSEC. That's what it's called. Here, 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 here. Yeah. Ooh, investigate a CSEC member's disappearance. Bit, a well-regarded member of CSEC and a personal friend of many people here, dropped off grid over two weeks ago and hasn't made contact with anyone. While numerous private investigations are no doubt underway, I'd like to make this an official CSEC post for anyone that wants to help. We're looking for any further information we can get regarding the disappearance or ideally current state. Sounds kind of important, so yes. I accept. Hey, this will be less formal email, and I'm going to sign it with my handle. No need for anonymity here. We're looking out for a friend. So, bit went dark a little over two weeks ago, which is pretty unusual. I mean, going dark for a bit is fine, but not contacting anyone here. Two weeks, something's up. Throwing in a few links to some servers he owns slash uses, so maybe dig around there. If you find anything, throw it up on the CSEC drop server, and I'll check it out. Okay, his bitwise test PC and a relay. Okay, let's go to this test PC. PC. Not too secure, but I guess it's a test PC. Whatever that means. Alright. Or 
congratulations, you win. Great. What was that theme changer? Here. Okay, what does this look like? No, I don't like that. I don't like it. Because I like having the text over here, it's good. Any of this commands you want from the command line? Cat, CD, uh, okay, yeah, I know about that. Fork bomb. It's not specified, but it's a useful panic button if you need to down a system in a hurry. You need admin rights for this one. You can fork bomb your own system as a defensive measure. Okay. It's trap. Uh, fork bomb, that sounds cool. Well, I downloaded something from Napster, and the same guy I downloaded from starts downloading from me when I'm done. And I message him and say, what are you doing? I just got that from you. Getting my song back, fucker. Napster. This is before my time, even. Some girl on the street asked if I was saved yet. I told her I saved at the checkpoint a couple of minutes back and can reload from there if I die. She was confused. Um, well, I mean, Napster wasn't before my time, I guess. About it. I knew about that Kazaa shit though. And Bear Share. Waiting for the boss to leave, then I'll meet you out the back. Do you would think he has any idea? Pff, I doubt it. He's got no idea about the shitstorm that's coming. Don't forget to clear the browser history. You don't want him tracing it back to us. Yeah, yeah, I got it covered. He just grabbed his coat and he's walking out the door now. Okay, give me a minute to set up the camera feed. Good to go. You got three minutes before that static image falls down. I'll take the list and we'll grab a pint to celebrate. What is this? Whoa, I can type. You wouldn't believe this shit if I told you what? Did it work? Got Mercs banging down my door for the source. Damn, sounds like it's like sounds like you've hit the big league. It's getting a decent payout. 12k, not bad for two months of work. I don't know what they'll use it for. Probably to drain your bank account. Good luck, got no money from them to steal. I'll confirm fake. Look good on my end, that idiot Bill got fired and I'm safe, great. I always hated Bill, he did me a favor, not to mention that 10k kickback, right? A lot of help too, so we good here? All good, I got months of loose exclusives here. Hitting you back next year when the new Brisbane movie comes out. Later, boss. What is this all about? I don't know if it's important or not. That's different. Somebody was overloaded. Wait a minute, haven't I been here? Yeah, because that's my IP address. I just never... I just never deleted my logs. That's funny. I think. Okay. I mean, maybe those auto logs are important, but I don't think so. I mean, this didn't have his name in it. Shinterland and J. Walter. Maybe if it said bit somewhere, I'd consider it. I want to do this fork bomb, though. That sounds like fun. Sounds real fun. Did I destroy it? What happened? I think I just destroyed it permanently. It's funny. Hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. I like how there's just one command that just destroys a computer. No confirm, nothing. Maybe that's real. Don't type that shit. Don't type it.
nice peaceful day with no traces running or any intense stuff like that. We got this on lock. Let's hope we find something. If you're reading this, you've run into and then broken into one of my relay servers. If you're looking to get in contact with me for some reason, throw a file up on my drop server. I check it occasionally. at the end, EY, no, Breezer, uh, Breezer, good, shit, I mean, it's a rather slow trace, so it's not too big of a deal, okay, web server worm 80, Good. Overflow 25. Okay. Should have plenty of time to do stuff. I don't know why you would even have a trace that that's that's that slow. You're a hacker, man. Your trace should be instant. AB is away gone. Okay, it's okay. 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 Oh, there was another one. IRC log in there, wasn't there? My, you're looking acute today. That's good. That's funny. I like it. Uh, what's this one? Whoa! I need to read that later. I'm gonna copy that. Right now. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
lot of swearing in this. I don't like to be that vulgar. I read it quickly, but I don't, I don't, I'm not going to read it. You can pause the video if you want to read it. We're swearing. I mean, I swear, but not that excessively. Okay, something about credit cards. Oh my gosh, dude, just... Who saves all these IRC logs? Dressed as big fucking devil, like huge costume, eight foot lizard who brings shine horns on the head. Some anime con in California, the double booked the Southern Baptist group in the same hotel. He's riding the elevator down to the con space. Doors open, little old Baptist woman standing there. He just says, going down in his best evil voice. It's pretty good. Right, was there another one in there? Of course there was. Well, why wouldn't there be? Helped the EMTs at a car wreck and got blood all over my arms and sure to look like I murdered 20 people with a fork. Anyway, I walked into a convenience store down the street and said my girlfriend needs a tampon. The guy at the counter is mortified. It's pretty funny, actually, too. Most of those are pretty funny. Oh, okay. Should have been the last time I checked the server. Apparently, someone's been messing with it. Bad timing for me, but oh well. I've been working with NTech on some pretty heavy projects, and things aren't looking so great. As in, I don't think they want me around anymore. Saying this sort of thing, not great. I don't know. Maybe I'm just freaking out about it. I'm going to dig around a bit, see if there's any danger here. It sure feels like there is. Okay, that's probably important. said to upload it to the drop server not there wherever the drop server is because I can never find anything anymore there it is I don't know why I don't just send it to the guy directly but what do I know Huh. Nice work finding that. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. It's a bit of a concern. I'm going to look into this a bit more. I'll let you know if I dig anything up. Alright. Contract successful. Alright. Let's get to one more. Track an encrypted file. Check out a suspicious server. White. Oh, like white cleaning academic record. CSEC member that wishes to remain anonymous needs a small job done. They are unable to complete this themselves for anonymity and motive proofing reasons. A former employer has continued to underpay and generally enforce money saving, but play well for compromising practices on all of his employees for some time. The agent would like his academic record wiped clean removed as part of a side project to correct his wrong. Okay. This contract has been added by an anonymous CSEC member, though it may be possible to sort of blah blah blah. Okay, Jacob Stevens. Remember to clear your tracks. International institutes rely on their own. Oh, yeah, okay. I've done this sort of stuff before. I've actually broken in here before. Uh, the International Academic Database. Which we are going to... Uh, probe. Haven't I already cracked this shit? Academic? screwing people over? Is that what's going on here? Uh, 
Don't care. We're just gonna click. Sorry. We got plenty of time. It's okay. Academic data entry cache. CD entry cache. Why can I not type? I don't know. Jacob Stevens. And we need to... Man, I can never remember. Replace. I need to just clear it. Oh, man. How do I clear it? I need to replace it with just... Blanks. How do I replace everything with blank? Or with just letters? Well, I, okay, I guess we want to keep his name. Oh, I see what I did. Can I put it in quotation marks? I don't know what I'm doing. Greatest hacker ever. Oh, uh, no. Jacob. Jacob. With Jacob Stevens. There we go. And we're going to be traced. Uh, well, I guess I don't care about clearing my log. Uh, business. Spelt wrong again replace it with space or like an underscore there you go uh, or I guess I can just delete it maybe that's better yeah because why yeah that would be so much easier because then he wouldn't be in the database all right Good. I'm pretty sure I could have done this in one go if I just thought about it for a brief moment, but I was so panicked that I can never remember the replace shit. It's very confusing. Editing text documents is the hardest thing in the game. Jacob Stevens. Done. Real simple. Successful. Excellent. Finally, let's go out to the Jmail DC. And we're going to read this IRC log that was long, and then we'll end it. The other night, my friend had some pot and wanted me to smoke it with him, but he had nowhere to smoke because both our parents were home. So we drove around looking for a place to park so we could smoke in the car. We eventually settled on a Wendy's parking lot. The logic is all there. I know, it was a ridiculous idea. We are just desperate, and that was the first place to pull off. So we park in the back of the parking lot under this tree and it's dark out, so we figure we're secluded enough. We start to light up and a cop pulls in. So we both sit really still and hope the cop will think the car is empty and just park there or that he won't notice. The cop circles the parking lot once and parks behind us and we're both freaking out. So Bobby, my friend, takes all the pot and shoves it in the glove compartment. But the car smells like pot, so we figure we're busted. So Bobby says we gotta distract the cop from the pot. In a huge flash, he rips his shirt off, undoes my pants, and sticks his hand out inside. 
Before I can process what's happening, the cop knocks on my window. Then he looks in and sees Bobby shirtless with his hand on my pants and turns bright red. I roll my window down, the cop says in this really flustered voice, his face bright red, you guys be good now, and walks quickly back to his car and drives off. He didn't even notice the smell of pot. We drove home in the most uncomfortable fucking silence ever. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened. But who am I to say, I guess. Alright, so yeah, we got more hacking to do. I assume once we finish up some more CSEC stuff, we'll get to like some big hacking missions that'll be really important, like saving the planet, and then uh, we'll eventually wrap things up. I, I would think. So my name is Mang. Came here watching his hack net. I'll see you fine folks in the next part.